What's up, my friend? I love sisters. Fina D coming to you all from Vina Tina News. The baby is good, guys. She's doing good. She's taking a nap right now. Thank you. She is like the most perfect baby ever. She sleeps. She eats. She plays for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then she sleeps again. And then she wakes up and she eats. And then poops, and that's about it. And she sleeps all night long. So, definitely looked up with her. I mean, I really think it had to do a lot with um, my pregnancy and just keeping my energy. What? Do you miss all the wealth you had sometimes? No. It's crazy because. You know, Jim Carrey said this one once before. Um, he said, um, I wish everyone had all the money and fame in the world so that they can see that that's not the answer. And he's so right. He's absolutely so right. I had everything that I could ever want and more. And there were days where it just felt like I just wanted to put a gun in my mouth. Like, it was the worst torture because I didn't know who I was and I wasn't allowed to find out who I was. I had to be somebody that I wasn't and no, <laughs> I'd rather live in a box of roaches. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Would you like to say hi? This is Melody. This is my mom's dog. Say hi. She's the sweetest little bougie little thing. But she's very, very sweet. Take another shot. Take a sip. Oh, y'all are toxic. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to chill on a Saturday. You know, just go really light and go slow. Y'all don't care. Y'all do not care. When are the peanuts coming back to YouTube? We will be coming back very shortly, guys. Um, we have been in the middle of moving, um, getting the kids settled. Although um, they have not changed their schools, it's still a lot of work, you know, relocating. Um, so there's just been a lot going on and it's been going really fast i have been filming things for you guys and trying to keep up with everything that we've been doing so that by the time we're ready to come back to youtube you'll still be in the know of everything that's been going on but it's a lot and um between that and traveling and working it's in a newborn it's been crazy hectic but we will be back very soon no why does everyone keep thinking i live in miami I thought you loved your house. Um, I didn't. I didn't love it. No, I liked it. It was really, it had a lot of potential. It was really nice. However, um, it just wasn't, it didn't give us that wow factor, that it factor, that, that thing that made us want to just stay. So, we found something a bit better, an opportunity presented itself and we took it. That's one thing about us penis. If an opportunity presents itself, we're gonna take it. We do not care. And that's what happened. Um, no, actually, no, I just disagree. I didn't, it's kind of hard for you to appreciate what you had from a previous relationship if you didn't too much care and you had so much going on within the relationship that you couldn't take a step back to appreciate it anyway. So this experience, this new chapter in my life has been completely different and um, kind of sucks to say, it's a lot more exciting. <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun with it now. Thank you.
In two weeks? No, we did not quit YouTube. We just have a lot going on. I have been getting footage of everything that's been going on as best as possible so that I can catch you guys up to date. But uh, we will be getting back on our YouTube. You guys will see our YouTube actually very soon. I'll make an announcement once it's up. <laughs> Show us your new house. I used to post. Uh, yeah, I did. I did post a lot when I got new stuff. Um, I guess I just started living in the moment and not actually caring about posting anymore because I'm happy with just um, having it all and just living life instead of taking that time to let me take a picture or let me post this or let me you know get a video of this or that um not that there's anything wrong with posting it or showing you guys i just i've really just been enjoying it and kind of selfishly keeping it all to myself Ugh. i'm gonna do a little better though because i should definitely be showing you guys a lot more there will be I'm not going to do a whole house tour because this house is a lot bigger. I'm not going to do a whole house tour, um, but I will show like things like Jalen finally got his man cave. Um, we were capable of making that work in this new house. He also has an office. He's in his own closet because he's building my closet. So um, he's very spoiled in this house. <laughs> Uh, opposed to the one before that um and so yeah now i mean uh this house is so much better it fits us so much more especially me mainly just because i get my closet that's all i wanted that's all i really cared about i just needed my closet he's building me a vanity inside i mean building me all different kinds of shelves, thing, a shelf specifically designed for my shades, a, spell, a shelf specifically designed for my um, perfumes. I mean, can you say spoiled? He has really, um, and he's, bless his heart, he has been stressing himself out. Every single day he's going up to Home Depot and he's like, no this color, no that color. He just finished painting it. And he spent 48 hours painting my closet. And <laughs> he came upstairs. The last night he finally finished, he came upstairs and had splats of, splattered of paint all over him. I mean, from head to toe. Uh, it looked like he went to war with the paintbrush. I don't know. But <laughs> bless his heart. So I can't wait to see the finish and I can't wait to show you guys. And I think he just finished putting in the recessed lighting inside. I'm really excited. We do have wedding plans. However, I, I think he wants to get married now and I want to get married. However, I had this October date planned for us and I don't think that we're going to be able to do it. We have so much more going on and I hate to be that typical family that, you know, puts the wedding off and the honeymoon off and all those things because, you know, family and our everyday lives kind of gets in the way, but you know what? It does. Um, We'll be married very soon. I'll say that. I can't wait to marry him. I love being a wife. Like, you know, being single is good for some people. I mean, they, they know how to, kudos to them, because they know how to work that, and they can be single. Okay, when I'm single, it's fine, but I'm not, I'm, I'm very much so a sap. I'm very much so a relationship type of person. I don't care to, you know, date several people or bring them around my children. Um, so just that part alone, you know, having to bring in all these different energies and 
have to stress about, you know, are they going to meet my kids? When are they going to meet my kids? Is this the one? You know, is this not the one? You know, I have sons, so are they going to want to kill this guy and kick him out the door? I don't know. You know, there's so many different factors of being in the single life. I, oh, I'm so glad I am not single. <laughs> Yes, it is a lot. <laughs> um, the baby is asleep. How do you heal from one relationship by going straight into another? I mean, I love how people ask this question as if everyone is the same, you know. Um, no one person is alike. I believe my soul is very old and knows what it wants and knows what it doesn't. And what it doesn't know in this lifetime, it probably learned. If not, I'm going to learn it some more. Um, I'm going to learn something new and I'm going to apply it. So with this specific relationship, every, every situation is different. Every scenario is different. Um, however, with this specific relationship, he was my best friend and he knew everything about me. He knew things about me that not even my closest family members knew. You know, we really did um, take our friendship uh, to an, another entirely different level. But I believe that's because we're twin flames. Um, which doesn't necessarily mean that you'll end up in a relationship with your twin flame, but Jalen and I are twin flames. So when we met each other, it was like instant, instant, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Chemistry. It was, it was a lot of, it was, it was very strong chemistry. It was going through everything that I was going through and things were coming to the end of my marriage. Um, a lot of people went away. A lot of people left me, uh, and, you know, you come to figure out who are your real friends and who was only there for a good time, who was only there for the money, who was only there for the clout, or whatever the reasons may have been. Jalen never left. He was there. And he already knew my children. My children absolutely adored him. So me healing, me taking my time to heal from my previous relationship was nothing on him. It wasn't an issue. It was him being my best friend as if he was before our relationship, holding my hand and walking me through it and making sure I went to therapy and making sure um, Things didn't get too overwhelming uh, for me, especially everything being in the media and being in the open, me finding out that I was pregnant um, and choosing to have my baby. Jalen was there. He was there before, he was there during, he was there after, and um, he's here now. So. can't say that about besides my family no one stayed everyone left everyone was gone so it's an easy answer <laughs> he's my best friend that's what he's supposed to do Yes, well, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't know what I was going to say after that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, like, keeping our love alive with the dates, guys. Don't, don't forget to give each other that one-on-one -on -one time. Throughout the week, Jalen and I... Um, Go on 3,000 dates. <laughs> We do not really 
when we're ripping and running, we don't take the time to really mm, talk to each other. We don't love on each other. We're just, he's handling this, I'm handling that. I mean, we really don't stop. It's just constant, constant going. So by the time the children are asleep, it's usually our time where we try to fight through how tired we are and force ourselves to make that time for one another um, and to, you know, make sure that we are, can I help you? Um, make sure that we are continuing to um, be attentive and um, nurturing. I think it got wet, so it's kind of swollen. Um, and yeah, that's when we go dancing and they like to love all of each other. If you go through the RHOA playlist, you will see that I've talked about fouling a lot. So I'm not going to go into details. You already know how I feel. I'm just happy that she's happy and she's out of that situation and life is great. It seems like everything is going great. She was on Instagram live for over an hour. So this is part one. I didn't put the entire word in there to, you know, just in case for the people who are triggered. That's why I put the, you know, exactly. I didn't put the entire uh, word in there, but I'm glad that she is still alive. She's still standing for and that she's doing great. And I love that she's at the space where it's like, you know what? I've been there. I've lived in the mansion. I had everything. And now I have everything, but I'm truly happy. It's the most empty feeling ever to have everything, material things, and for your soul to just be empty and lost. And for her to be saying, listen, I'm happy. I have everything. And before I used to look at me seeking validation, let me post the house, let me post this, let me post that. Now I have everything and I'm just living in the moment, enjoying every moment. I'm honestly happy and I'm with my best friend and I don't feel the need to post everything. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that, okay? She made sure to clean that up before people take it and run with it because you know who posts everything. We're not going to go there. But I'm glad that she's just happy. So I'll be back later on in the day with part two. I know it's really late, but I really wanted to get part one up tonight because she was on live a few hours ago. And I'll post the rest later on. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Yeah, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.